Hi, uh, so you wanted me to explain about the patch render. Uh, frankly speaking, it's very easy. Um, so first of all, what should we do? We have here uh, render setup. First of all, we need to um, find here the output size. Uh, usually we use custom and HDTI video. In the custom variation, I put the resolution 1200 and the height 1500 is the resolution for the Instagram uh, images. And here we put all the um, destinations about the progress renders limits. Uh, usually we put here the noise level for 2%. And uh, that noise, and usually it should be 0.35 um, if it's 2% here. If you put here 5%, then you should put here amount uh, 0 0.65. Uh, so this is the logic of it. Uh, then, if you need um, this other vertical resolution custom, which we put here, this. Uh, sizes and if we need the HDTI video then we uh, switch it here and um, usually we use um, this resolution 1920 and uh, 1080 for the horizontal one if we want to make it larger we choose the other variant of it so uh, you then switch the patch render which is situated right here and then what should you do okay let's uh, remove all these cameras so i could do it from scratch to explain you so you have opened it and um, you can see it in such a way then uh, you should uh, choose one of this resolution as the main for example let it be uh, the custom because i have the most um, quantity of my mm, pictures in a vertical way. Then I put add, uh, choose this camera, this view, and put the right camera for it, uh, which is according to my view. Then uh, we have this um, main resolution, which is switched here. So that's why I don't switch on all, any of these override presets. I just choose the camera, press output path, uh, choose the um, folder, um, for example, this is the right folder, uh, choose the um, save type, name the file, and then put the override here, which is uh, according to my CG um, parameters. Here I have 2.2. So I put here 2.2 in order it could be saved in this Corona Gamma parameters and press save. Okay, so uh, when I switch the render, this picture will be saved in the, re the resolution I've chosen. It's uh, 1200 and 1500 in the folder I've chosen. Uh, so then you need... Um, the camera in a horizontal way. You duplicate this um, camera, this view, uh, so we could uh, use the password saving, uh, so it could be the same. Uh, then we choose the camera, for example, where it's uh, horizontal for me. It doesn't matter right now, but anyway, um, let it be this one uh, is horizontal so uh, i need um, the, the other resolution to change it i use the override reset put them uh, put it on and um, put the parameters i want so for example it's 1820 and here it's um, 1080 and uh, choose uh, the right camera, change the name. Mm, for example, like this, we have already uh, the camera saved because uh, it has the same parameters of the saving as in the first camera. And uh, the only thing we need to do, and we have done it already, is just to change the override preset. So, 
um, now when you switch render one uh, picture will be saved in a vertical way and the other will be in a horizontal way and uh, then you can duplicate your cameras more and more according to the quantity of your cameras you have put into your scene and uh, change just the name the camera and uh, look for the revolution you want it to be so that's all good luck